Kodak Black's legal team blasted the Biden DOJ for Hunter Biden's plea deal yesterday, calling that decision a direct reflection of a two-tier justice system. The judge presiding over Black's case handed the hip-hop artist a much stiffer sentence for committing the fundamentally same crime as the president's son. Mm -hmm. Kodak Black was sentenced to three years behind bars after pleading guilty in 2019 to providing an incorrect Social Security number on a federal gun purchase form in order to buy three firearms from a Miami area shop. Which is a no-no. It is a no-no. But it is a federal weapons crime, which is the same thing Hunter Biden committed. And uh, I think there is a two-tiered justice system going on. Yeah, here. I mean, it's a fascinating look. Obviously, there's something kind of upside down about uh, conservatives who haven't historically been very invested in um, making creating more equality in the criminal justice system. There tends to be a desire to ratchet up criminal penalty, penalties, generally speaking, and be tough on crime. But it is fascinating to watch this one Twitter user, Chicago One Ray, tweets, this is what white privilege looks like, folks. Uh, where is Al Sharpton or Benjamin Crump when the Biden DOJ decides to let white people walk when blacks are serving time for the same crime? No one's above the law. And it's not just this person. It's Marjorie Taylor <laughs> Greene. Do we have that tweet? Can we throw that up there? Marjorie Taylor Greene tweets, um, unfortunately, Kodak's daddy was not. Oh, that's Mehdi Hassan. But uh, do we have the Marjorie Taylor Greene one? There it is. Unfortunately, Kodak's daddy was not president. And he's not white. Marjorie? Woke Marjorie? A woke Marjorie Taylor Greene is pointing out a racially tiered criminal justice system. Gosh, is Marjorie Taylor Greene acknowledging that black defendants fare worse under our laws? They fare worse under the favored sons of Hunter <laughs> of, of Joe Biden. Uh, yeah, she. I mean, she even makes the racial point. She even makes, that's the thing. Like, how do you back at, at some later date... Is she going to go back to the kind of uh, colorblind, we're all equal, racism doesn't exist anymore? No, framing? she's Marjorie Taylor X now. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying for this. Now, we did throw up for a second. Let's print, pull that back. Uh, Mehdi Hassan's tweet. This has been the typical response. Suddenly, every Hunter Biden obsessed Republican on this hell site is an expert on Wesley Snipes and Kodak Black and is up in arms over double standards on tax avoidance and evasion. Well, um, and he's pointing to that big uh, New York Times expose on uh uh, President Trump's taxes. And look, to me, fair enough. Take them all down. Don't let the rich and powerful get off with what uh, poor and working class people do. We've talked about this ad nauseum in the context of the story about the IRS funding, how the most audited city in the United States of America is this tiny poor town in Mississippi where the average income is like below Disgusting. the minimum wage. Disgusting. So, you know, there, there, there is quite obviously a two-tiered system in the United States of America.